this week it comes out that, a, that an HPD uh, crime scene investigator, uh, or no, I'm sorry, uh, Houston Forensic Science, right? Or was, was he with HPD? Uh, he's, it's, it's, it's the crime lab. So here's the, here's the rub. Right. The, that, that, and that's why I asked, because there's kind of this... Here's the rub. Law enforcement says, hey, quit pointing the problem at the law enforcement. It's the Houston Forensic Science Center people who are coming out, the CSIs coming out, doing the investigation, and not testing the bloody blanket that's next to the victim. And, and so in this like, case, right, and so in this case, they have found that one officer, um, in, in the, the, the memorandum says it was case records completed by an HPD officer assigned to the Houston Forensic Science Center as a crime scene investigator. So these are kind of got a dual role. These are these dual roles. Right. And, and so this, this officer slash crime scene investigator was found to have 65 errors in cases and 88 cases that they reviewed. I mean, you have to literally watch in your imagination the panel. Hey, so why didn't you test that bloody towel that was next to the victim? Why didn't you test that empty shell casing? Why didn't you take photos of that victim? Why didn't you take latent prints at the scene? And each of his answers are on the memo says, oh, yeah, I forgot. That's probably something I should have done. No, no, you know, I don't think that that empty shell case was uh, really relevant. Yeah, the quote from the memorandum <laughs> is, later, after being notified of errors, he responded, I knew that, and I forgot to do that. Do you see this? Well, I mean, talk to me about this. Y'all do the federal work. Do you see, is, it, is this a local problem, or is this some, like, a greater issue with forensics in the country? Well, I mean, I... It varies from agency to agency, okay? And, and, and I think that, and, and Natalia, you're, you're, feel free to jump in, but you know, on the federal side, you see such, some cases are brought by state authorities. HPD, you have all these task force uh, that, that work in conjunction. I'll, I'll give you an example. There's a lot of these robbery cases. They end up starting as a state investigation, okay? So HPD, uh, the constables, the precincts, that's where the investigations will start, okay? A, 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 a store, a, a, a phone store, or a jewelry store is, is hit. And so who makes the initial scene? It's the local law enforcement agency, whether it's HPD, whether it's the constable. And then as it starts to build, they put it into the database and they find out, oh, well, it, the, the description matched the same one as this one over in Pasadena. And then they start linking it up and they, they, they put it together that it's a series of robberies by the same crew, okay? And so then they call ATF and, or the FBI and they get the, the federal authorities involved and they take what normally is state cases, and this is, I'm sure you've argued the same thing, is we, we constantly go, this is a state case. And they arrest these guys at the state level, they have them sit in jail while they build the case and then they'll suck them all up into a big federal Hobbs Act conspiracy where you're looking at 50 to 150 years in jail on a conspiracy to commit all this stuff. And so, uh, for instance, I had a case I tried a couple years ago on, on, this, on one of those cases. And there, it's not that the forensic work was sloppy. It was the cataloging of the work that was so sloppy. We're three days into trial and HPD discovers... 14 discs of witness interviews. That's the mistrial you got? Correct. And, 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 and so it comes up because Suntran was, we had just got, we were getting supplements literally as, as up until the day trial is starting, we're getting additional offense supplement reports because there's so many of these things, you know? And so we're, he's going through it while we're starting the case. And he finds a gap, an error, and he's like, wait a second, we don't have this, we don't have this, we don't have this. And it was because HPD had failed to catalog everything correctly and just forgot. And forgot to turn over all these critical witness interviews, uh, including one of Sun and, and Wendy Pastorini's client. 